206 miles northeast of Dutch Harbor. On the 108 foot Cape Caution. Come on, baby. Show me some love here. Kaboom! Cha-ching! Yeah, yeah. Captain Wild Bill Rukrowski has been on the crab for two days. Woo! Let's get this done! Now, he's ready to top off his tanks and close out his king season. You gonna finish this up? Get on down the road. The road. In a way, I'm fortunate we got on what we have on. Because it's all over the news that there is a super typhoon forming south of Japan. And projected models show it coming through here within a week. It's going to be potentially the lowest low pressure in recorded history. And low pressure is weather. Yeah, that's it. That's all the red crab will be harvested. So get on a stack. With the last of the red crab caught, the skipper aims to stack his gear and get to town before Nuri hits. This is the end of harvest. We still have work to do. And yeah, we got 71 pots down here to the south we need to stack. In sea conditions like this, it's difficult enough to drive this thing, let alone with a stack of gear on it. So we're putting a stack on. We need to make sure these pot ties are tied good and the pots are in there good, you know? My first time doing the stack. Get New assignments haven't always worked out for Miles. He took an 800-pound pot to the face on his first time at the rail. Now, the returning Greenhorn is a little gun shy. Miles had some issues with being afraid last season. You know, we've seen this pattern in him before, but uh, it just comes with experience. Having reached their king crab quota, the crew returns the remaining crab from whence they came. Be real careful. Keep your eyes on the water. Don't turn your back. Hey, what are you doing? We're going to throw the water in there. Help them out. Help them out. is a newbie to the stack game and boats rolling around so when the pot's coming back it pot can take some pretty wild turns and he's got to get a, a tie on it secure the pot before he undoes the crane or the pot can become a projectile yeah, i'm just you know trying to go as fast as i can on the stack because i'm getting yelled at either way if i'm you know nick told me take your time and do it right but when i take my time and do it right i get my ass chewed maybe move faster I feel like that's stuff we shouldn't have to say. Go faster. Shows you his inexperience. I got a blow here that might be the most epic storm in recorded history. As far as I'm concerned, we got to load him up and go. I'm ready to finish it up. We got 23 pots left. And the typhoon's coming. Hopefully, we're out here before the beginning of the apocalypse. Get out, spin it, Miles. With the super typhoon building. Greenhorn Miles Johnson gets tested on the stack. Miles is kind of awkward on the stack. You know how the newborn baby walks? Like that. Yeah, it's scary. You're not gonna lie. 60 miles an hour, we're in 25 foot seas. It's life or death up here, man. I was the same way. I didn't do very good on it. I hated the stack. You're way above the lights. You guys are up for days swinging pots at you. The stack would be going. It sucks being on the stack, but you know, that's kind of the position he's in. You know, he's kind of the third guy. It's the third out of the four spots is up on the stack. 
you know, it, it's his first shot at getting the top stack on, and I don't see anything wrong with what he's doing. Um, he's still on board, I don't know. Playing with the weather right now. Everything's always tied down, but you want to double check, triple check stuff right now to make sure stuff doesn't fly around. Hey, Sam! Make sure you look at those other pots, make sure they're all clean. There's one, there's two, there's a third one. Or the third tie. Yes, yeah, sir. One, two, three, one, two, three. Huh. Three ties on every pot means three ties on every pot. Just because you got one here and one here, that's two. Alright? I mean, it's too late now. You know how to count to three. Alright, well, what's the deal? What's the excuse? Well, I don't have any pots. I was stupid. I thought the people would count, but they don't count. No, every pot has three ties. So if you miss getting a pot tight, the boat starts rolling violently, then the whole stack shifts over, click, 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 and it shifts where the weight is. Pots that aren't secure risk the stability of the boat. The way it is, especially for a new guy, is three ties and how a guy would decide on two when you've never been on the stack before is beyond me. Making progress and then turns around and this shit sh surfaces, so. Well, we'll chain the sh out of it on the way in. Yeah, this is the last one. We're gonna stack it up the chains on and head to town. Chain the stack down and head to town. Chain's gonna keep the pots attached to the boat, but they, they're gonna keep them where they need to be in the, in the right place. Ah. Don't lock on the web. Don't lock on the web. This teaches you that if you don't do the job right, there's consequences. It's cause for an ass whooping, yes. Yeah. You know, Miles, I mean, we told you before, three pot ties on every pot. Especially in weather like this. I mean, I don't know what you don't understand up there. I don't know why you don't listen to us, why you're not doing it. It's not a game up there, it's a life. That's why we tell you to do these things. Three ties every pot. Yeah. Just being one time, these guys will figure it out. We need them to figure it out. <laughs> 